So here's my little contraption. It's a homemade brushless fan thing. It runs from a DC voltage source. Oh well, actually it runs from AC and I have a power supply built into it now, but... Anyway. It runs by the means of uh, these two black things here, are uh, photo barriers. Which when a blade passes them, they trigger coil which you can see here, the two coils, <coughs> which repel some neodymium magnets from an old hard drive. The electronics is fairly simple, it's just a show you here. It's uh, just some bodged up stuff, some power transistors to drive the coils, not much more. Uh, not some LEDs also <laughs> that show in the coil string just for troubleshooting, but not much to troubleshoot though. <coughs> Originally I had just one driver coil, that's why I <laughs> have this ugly thing with straws on it to hold the photosensors. And the photosensor is just an LED in this end here. And on the other side there's a photoresistor. And they're <coughs> placed inside the straws, surprise, which have uh, one electrical tape around to keep the light out. So basically it just focuses the light into the into the photoresistor. And the bearing, the hub bearing is actually from <laughs> An old hard drive as well from the reading arm thing. Uh, what else? I got an AC adapter here, 10 volts AC, about 600 milliampere, I think. And it comes via this fuse that I attached later because I thought it might be a good idea to have one. Rectifier, capacitor, filter capacitors, and then the uh, the heatsink on there is a 7805 voltage regulator and there's just a couple of Darlington connected transistors one here for the for the upper coil and this one here for the lower coil mm, what else mm, well everything's homemade it's out of wood Old parts, mostly second hand. Got the transistors from some junk. And not much new in it, I think. The capacitors I found in there, <laughs> they were actually in a recycling bin. I, didn't know, I don't know if they weren't up to specs or something, but they were brand new and just tossed. And they seemed to work fine. Seemed to work fine for me, so. No problem. 1000 microfarads at. Uh, what is it? Uh, 25 volts. A lot of glue involved in building this. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you about it. Maybe show it in the dark. The foot is there, how the blades are reflecting the light. And I have my LEDs blinking here on the back side. Post the schematic, I guess. I don't think there's any point in showing it here on YouTube though. Not enough resolution, so I might edit a web page or something. Just ask me if you want it. Okay, take care.